a possible crash site on the map. If you can find a fragment, you should be able to track the trajectory to the rest. They're not expecting survivors, but stuff like this tends to attract the wildlife. So tool up. Good luck on this one. All right. So let's see where we are. Okay, so we are in the Riverlands? Oh, yeah, we are in the Riverlands. Okay, so we have to go into this area. That's a very large area, my goodness. And look around. Huh. Okay. Uh, anyways, welcome, guys. <laughs> welcome to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming. Sorry, I, I got a little distracted there. Um starting the video i should have started a little bit sooner but anyways yes we are here in the riverlands and so uh we are going to do el camino expedition uh we have to locate the first crash debris site and figure out the trajectory and go from there so i have no as usual this is a fresh mission don't know anything about it and so i'm going to uh, gear up probably i might gear up as far as you know getting at least getting the shotgun um, and maybe even the rifle and then when I'm ready to head out I will bring you guys back and we will go from there so I'll see you in a while all right guys we are back and I have spent some time uh, grinding up to the rifle uh, the bolt rifle rather and the shotgun and all of that so yeah I just made a really small uh, two by two stone hut here I have all my stuff in here, and then I built some extra workstations that I put down, used them, and then, you know, picked them back up since there's not a lot of room in here. And uh, so, yeah, I think we're ready to start working on this quest. So we got a full stack of, of a couple of different kinds of food there, extra campfire and bedroll uh, from we're out and about, 51 buckshot or uh, shotguns and 65 rifle rounds. Everything's in good repair. And so, yeah, let's set out and see what this is about. So what we have to do is go south. Um, and then I'm assuming go into the center ish of this circle, uh, to locate the first crash piece. And then from there, it'll probably direct us to the next location and so on and so forth. So yeah, let's check this out. It's probably taken me maybe three hours or so to get to this point, something like that. Uh, I played a little bit last night and then went to bed and then, you know, went into work this morning and now I'm, um, you know, resuming from that point. So it's also been a day or so in real life. So, yeah, let's head down there, down here rather, and see what this is all about. This is, um, I've never actually been down this little area here of the Riverlands. Um, I don't know if it was blocked off before or if I just never knew it was here or something, but it's, it's a very narrow kind of canyon, canyon-y place here. There were no bears next to where I built the house, but up the, up in here, there's two bears that spawned, and there's another cave up there that I had to go to, but I got all the stuff I needed out of two caves, basically, which is nice. Yeah, look at this gorge here. This is kind of neat, actually. River gorge. Yeah, I definitely like the Riverlands. Um, it's probably my favorite biome in the game. All right, we're getting close to the location here. Let's pop. Oh, I see it. I see it. Sounds like there's a bear over that way. Rust to interact, drop ship debris. That looks like it. Oh. But what happened to it? More flint arrows? Okay. Looks like it was hit by something. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay. 
Locate the second crash debris site. Way the hell down here. Alright. We got some running to do. Alright, the crash, next crash piece, debris, whatever. Should be right around here. Guess we're looking for a smoking piece of debris. Let's get up on this little ridge here. seem to indicate it's behind me if it's always right in the center. Like right about here-ish. But maybe it isn't always right in the center. Oh, there it is. I've kind of been running in a, a spiral search pattern. But my spirals must not have been top, uh, tight enough. <laughs> I got a flash storm too. I'm gonna put my um, this on my toolbar, so if we get zapped, we can put the fire out. Yeah. So this one, this wasn't even close to the center. I guess they're not always in the center. Okay. Anti-poison paste. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay. Uh, reach the final crash debris site. And that's going to bring us down into the desert. Alright. Let's do it. Uh, we should probably replenish our grub here too. Okay. Okay, so yeah, we got a little bit of jank terrain going on here. <laughs> uh, that's funny. And it looks like we're just about to the desert, folks. This is, from what I understand, this is the actual desert, not the canyon lands, but the desert desert. The real desert. The big desert. Looks pretty much like the canyon lands, though, at least in this part. Alright, let me look at the map for a second here. <clears throat> now, we did come into this biome way down here from Argos a long time ago, just very briefly. So, okay, so we need to curve around kind of to the southwest here. Be a bad idea to locate a cave in case we get a a sandstorm or something come in. Look where that little cove goes to. Looks like there's a cave way over there to the east. Okay, we'll keep that in mind if we need to get to one and we don't find something closer. In fact, let's um just kind of put a little bit of a marker there. Oh, we're actually in the area now anyway, so okay, we could find this thing anywhere. Now, according to the the uh little, you know, picture behind this quest there was some kind of like monster looking hyena thingamadoodle that was about ready to pounce on us so I'm wondering if that's we're gonna have some kind of a boss fight or something here
All right, I don't see anything glowing or smoking up on the ridge there. Let's go down into this hole here. Oh, there's a cave too. Okay, good. So that just leads into a cave. Is this it here? Yep. Oh, uh, what the hell's happening? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Seriously? I did not think this was going to happen. Oh, ow! That hurt. Woohoo! If I would have known that this was going to happen, I probably would have gotten the bigger- Oh shit! Rifle. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Looks like the worm made you a way through. That's convenient. What? A way through where? It's wrecking last piece of the dropships on the other side. Oh, did I defeat him? I. It didn't sound like he died. I think he, he just ran off. I was not expecting that. I was expecting some kind of boss hyena. Holy crap, man. Okay. Yeah, definitely fighting that guy, you know, um, I mean, I probably should have even considered using my bow because I just would have been able to get more shots off. Of course, the rifle's going to do a lot more damage. Wonder if that's why I got the anti-poison paste, the bow, and the arrows. <laughs> that was giving me a hint. But again, I was expecting a, a hyena boss based upon the picture, you know. Okay, well... Let's head on through here. We might have to fight that guy again. Um, you know what, too? I do happen to have anti-poison tonic. So we should keep that on our toolbar. Alright, I see a smoking area over here. Whew! Let's get this thing ready. Look at this big old desert, man. Wow. Okay, our first encounter with the uh, giant worm that I've heard about. Very unexpected, but pretty cool. That is it, guys, for this uh, prospect. I will meet you back at the pod, and we'll go back up into space, get our reward, and figure out what's going to happen next. Just got to get out of this damn sandstorm first. All right, we are back at the pod. Oh, we got all of our stuff in here. We do have our air tank, our canteen. Let's GTFO. That wasn't too bad of a mission. It was just a hell of a lot of running, though. My goodness. Um, it was kind of cool to encounter the worm, too, especially since I wasn't expecting it. Uh, so that part of it was really cool. Okay, let's see. I think we get 250 Ren for this, if I remember right. And that was going to be enough for us to get that uh, new Enviro suit, I believe. Yep, 250. See, it shows that... Well, it just went away. It shows the a hyena boss, though. So, I don't know. That's what I was expecting. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's go to workshop, and we want to go to get the Shingong Dongtian. Dong Dong I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, this is the cold resistance. 
um, I don't, you know, if we, if I get into a, situ a situation later on where heat becomes a real major issue, which it hasn't, all the times I've been in the canyon lands and the desert, it's not been a big deal, but cold's definitely an issue for any Arctic missions. Uh, so we are going to make this very cool. And now we got ourselves a new Enviro suit. All right, guys. So I think what we're going to do uh, for the next um, episode is we're going to do seven pillar scans so that it unlocks um, these other desert items for us and the spirit walk and all of that. So uh, this is just going to be a typical, you know, scan the three locations, get attacked by the animals thing. Um, 200 uh, Rin reward, two skull difficulty, seven days. Um, but we should probably, uh, I'm assuming we'll be able to knock it out really quick. Uh, hopefully it doesn't send that real giant worm after us. Uh, so let's claim this prospect and we're going to take uh, everything with us. I'm not going to take my new uh, suit with me just because of the fact that I'm wondering if we should take this one instead. Nah, we'll, we'll keep everything we have here because uh, this is going to be for when we go back into the cold biome. So we'll leave that there for now. And let's confirm loadout. And and start this up. And then, all right, so I'm going to let you guys go here. This was a little shorter episode, but uh, the one before that was a little bit long. So <laughs> it kind of evens out, right? And uh, we'll start this up, and then we'll start the next episode when we touch down. So, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.